every time someone is visiting Dubai, because I've been in Dubai for a while, I always get this question, you know, like, what should I do? What is to be done? What are the activities I can like, get into? I remember I had written a list, like, the first, first time I came here to Dubai, I wrote a list of all the things that I wanted to do. I still have the list, so I'm just going to use that list. There are obviously other stuff. Maybe I can make another video about other stuff, but, like, so it's just, like, the basic, basic tourist things that you should definitely do when you come to Dubai. I'm going to be doing my makeup as well so to me lack I don't know if I can multitask but that's the whole point of this video it just felt like a challenge so it's like I'm gonna do it let's get into the video I hope you guys enjoy <gasps> let me be honest Dubai right now actually we're just gonna start there we're just gonna start there most of the, the stuff I'm gonna say in this video is this personal opinion if I was a tourist who was coming to Dubai to visit like, if I want to experience the heat like the dying heat come right now come like June July August Come during that time because we are melting, like we are above 40 degrees Celsius on a good day. <laughs> It's hot. It's the temperature right now. It's probably like 30 something. But yeah, weather in Dubai according to Google. And right now it's 6.51 guys. It's 6.51 p.m. It's 36 degrees Celsius. The highest was 39 degrees Celsius. And I'm telling you, today's not even a hot day because apparently this week is supposed to be raining. I just remember this week is supposed to be raining and today has not rained. But you get what I'm saying, right? Like, this is supposed to be a rainy week and we're on 36 degrees Celsius. So if you want to come and experience the heat because it's an experience. <laughs> I would say come during June, July, August. Yeah, during that time, just during summer. But if you're avoiding the heat, but let me tell you one thing. One thing about Dubai, it's always gonna be hot no, no matter what time you come. Maybe December, January is usually a bit cool, but like in general, it's just always, it's just like there's gonna be some humidity to some level. Like even December, it's cool, but like there's a level of humidity. So I wanted to tell you. I have quite I'll just tell you, in my opinion, the best time to come to Dubai is like September, October, November, December. But like, no, actually no, scratch that. I'd say November, December, November, December, January, Feb. Like, if you're coming here for Valentine's, because y'all love coming here for Valentine's, chat. Y'all love coming here for Valentine's and making us feel single. Like, let me tell you, I don't know why I ended up at Dubai Mall. Was it this Valentine's or like? So those are Valentine's. I was at Dubai Mall and I was single, guys. I was not. I was like, I was not having a good day. <laughs> my point is, my point is, if you're trying to come here for Valentine's, because it's usually such a like romantic destination, you should definitely come. Like the weather is good. November, December, January, Feb. That's like the best weather. It's like it's still humid a bit, but it's like cool. It's 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 really nice. Like I personally look. I look forward to that nowadays, like it's just nice. During the day, it's nice, like it's just nice. If you want to go swimming, it's still sunny. Like if you want to go to the desert, it's still sunny. If you want to do like outdoor activities, it's still sunny, but it's not like... Like right now, you can't really do outdoor activities. Like you can, but you're gonna be really pushing yourself. And then there's like a time, like maybe from 4. Because you can't be outside in this heat at 12. It's just, it's like, it's too hot, you know, like it's not even good for your health. It's really hot, but it's hot outside. Like you're inside somewhere, everywhere there's AC. Like if you go to the mall, it's actually funny. Like this year I'm healthy, this year I'm in my healthy girl era. Uh. But last year, like the times before, I always get sick during summer. I always get a cold because like the ACs are crazy. I know that people who sleep with AC every day, but personally I can't. But yeah, it's, it's just that hot. Everywhere you go, if you're in the office, if you're at the mall, like, there is AC everywhere and then you see another one controlling the AC so you can't switch it on and switch it off so sometimes it's like it's cold especially the mall right now oh my god I went to Dubai Hills mall the other day bro I was like are these people trying to kick us out but this is not even making sense it was so cold so I can imagine if you're coming for shopping and you want to spend like four hours in the mall in that cold baby you're coming to Dubai, it's hot here, yes, but if you're coming during the summer, come come with a hoodie. Come with a hoodie because you're going to freeze and train. But I have nothing against people who are freezing and train because I personally would freeze and train. That's how I used to get cold, but I'm smarter now, so I don't freeze and train. <laughs> it can be very cold indoors, but outside it's extremely hot. So honestly, I think even when you're new to Dubai, like if you're coming as a resident, if you're not used to that weather, it's a bit extreme, honestly. That's why most people get sick. I remember two months ago, everyone had a cold, had a flu, blah, 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 blah. But I feel like it's because we're just like getting into the summer fever, you know. That's the tea on the weather. I miss doing makeup. I haven't been doing makeup as much. 
much to be honest I don't know why but also because it's hot like, If you're outside for 5 minutes, oh girl, your makeup is gonna melt mm -hmm. So the first thing that comes to my mind, this is gonna be a bit extreme though I'm not like ranking them in any way like, Today we're just, you know, I'm just sharing So this is the first thing that came to my mind It's like, I feel like it's the coolest thing I've ever done in my life Or like <laughs> It's not the coolest thing I've done in my life. It's just, it's really up there when it comes to like, you know, things that I've done here. And I don't think I would have done it if I, if I wasn't in Dubai. So, the first thing I think you should do when you come to Dubai is skydive. Go and skydive. Go and throw yourself from a plane. Listen to me. Go and skydive. The experience that you're gonna have is unbelievable. Like, I can't spoil for you. I can't spoil for you. I'm just gonna tell you, like, it's really one of those experiences that you cannot be. No one can really tell you how it feels. You just have to experience it for yourself. But if you can't, I promise you, it's worth it. It's like, it's very worth it. It's, it's an amazing feeling. And you also feel so. You know how I felt? I felt like I can do anything. Any fear that you have, it's just all in your mind. Like, now I'm spoiling it for you, but that's how you're gonna feel. Like you're gonna feel like, should I tell you? You don't feel, you don't like. It's it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. But like it's the doing it that you're like, whoa. Okay, yeah. I can probably do anything in this class. For me, it was a motivational experience. But it's just, I don't even have the words for it. You just have to do it. Like you just have to do it. But I would highly, highly. I wish there was a rule like when you turn 18, you have to skydive. Like that's like the rite of passage for you. To turn 18. But anyway, that's like the first thing I would first thing I would highly 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 recommend is for skydiving. Alright, let me look at my list. Let me look at my list of stuff that I wrote when I was coming to Dubai. First thing I wrote was desert safari or visit Hatta Mountains. Okay, I'm gonna talk about both. The desert safari is like a must. You know like the way I say the skydiving you should do, like if you can. The desert safari is quite it's quite like it's not even quite affordable. It's like a very affordable activity and it's a fun activity. Some people do get car sick. If you have car sickness or motion sickness, I'd advise you to just get like, there's really pills for that. Like you can just go to the chemist and ask them for, you know, motion sickness pills. Like if you, you cause I've seen people do up. Like you're really gonna miss the experience. Like you're not gonna enjoy it if you get car sick. Or, and it's so fun. Like if you don't get car sick, the desert safari is a really fun experience. Like, you know, it's your typical ride the camel, go on the Prado, you know, the big cars and then you're thrown around. If you come here by yourself or like if you're just figuring out like where to book this stuff, literally I can put the contact of the guy that I did. Like I usually call and you know, I need to go for desert safari. That's just because like my cousin is gonna come to Dubai and they want to go for desert safari. And then my aunt's gonna be like, oh, they want to go, but I can't think of that person. But just to make your life easier, literally just Google. Google. Like I Google everything in Dubai. That's one thing about Dubai. Like things are legit, you're not gonna get fake people. Or personally, I've not been scammed when I've Googled for something. So just Google, or if you're on Facebook, just you know, look up on Facebook, even on Instagram. There are always like companies who are doing this thing. And if you've come by yourself or like you're only two, because those um, cars that you're gonna go for the desert safari with, they usually carry like six. One, two, three, four, five, six, six to eight people. But they usually carry a number of people. So if you're two or maybe you just came to Dubai for yourself, by yourself, a solo trip, if you get in contact with those the desert safari um, company, they're just gonna put you in a group and they're gonna come and pick you up. Like they're usually different packages that you can do. You know, some of them even have like a buggy ride, buggy ride, Right. So like there's usually a package. Like if you just contact them, they're gonna give you the package. It's as easy as Googling and contacting. So they're gonna give you like the packages and then the one that you can afford. You know, you just go for it. like it's as simple as like going for just the desert experience with the cars or like you can just go for the night experience where you watch like people really dancing and you know you do the camel ride, like you know, you can do all that. It depends on like you know how much you're willing to spend, etc. etc. and how much time you have. If you're here by yourself or you're here with your girl and you still wanna go, they're gonna put you in a group and they're gonna come and pick you up. Yeah, and then you're gonna you might probably potentially meet other people. And I don't know, like all the times I've gone on a desert safari and it's not just like like me and my family in one full car, like the people I always meet are always we just always end up having like, an experience, you know, like like you just you make really good friends. You just you might you might not you might meet people who we probably never talk again, but like most of the times it's someone who's come to Dubai and they're you know on a good vibe and just wanna have a good experience. The energy is good. I don't feel like you can't go on a desert safari if you're by yourself. You definitely can, and you're gonna have a good time. And you might just meet your future husband. I don't know. 
I don't know, girl. <laughs> okay, second place was Hata Mountains. Personally, I went to Hata Mountains by like, coincidence. Like, it was on my bucket list, but I hadn't, like, decided I'm going to visit Hata Mountains. I just ended up going there because I was going for a photo shoot. And let me tell you, Hata Mountains is, like, a different side of Dubai. It's called Mountains for a reason. And I wouldn't say there's a lot of forest. Maybe December, maybe. I don't know. But it's, like mountains of rocks and it's like vast you know like the way dubai is such a city when you go to hata mountains you see a completely different side of dubai like there are completely no buildings you're driving for like kilometers and kil like just driving there like how are you gonna go to hata mountains you can book a car or you can get um you know when you come to the airport like those guys the guys in the yellow cabs the taxi drivers they always have like those offers you know your hotel could give you a taxi guide true but like the guys who drive taxis like they can drive you to such places as far as hata mountains like it's far but they can do it as long as you know you pay up and also like if you get this app called kareem like kareem the app itself i feel like that app needs a whole video because you can literally do everything in dubai with that app i don't know about uber because personally i use kareem for everything but you can literally book a kareem and it's gonna drive you all the way to hata mountains because i feel like if a kareem can take you all the way to abu dhabi that's also another thing that you can do you can go to abu dhabi and do a list of things that you can do in abu dhabi because it's just one hour away if a kareem can take you to abu dhabi then the kareem can definitely take you to hata mountains you're just gonna pay like a certain amount or you can hire a car there's so many apps you can hire a car i've hired a car from this app called easy hire and it was a good experience if you're looking for a fancy car that like you're just gonna see them or you you can literally google because i'm telling you i i googled easy hire for example and i had a good experience with it. yeah you can just google a company that does luxury cars or like maybe have someone recommend or have the hotel recommend like guess hotels always have this information laid out for you use it to your advantage so anyway hata mountains is really it's literally a vast space i'd recommend to go like september october november december november december october november december the sunset guys the sunset over there like just imagine more like before you get there it's gonna be like vast land of emptiness and desertness but once you get to the hata mountains it's so beautiful guys it's so beautiful and the sunset over there just go for the sunset go for the sunset and you're gonna thank me there are like activities to do in Hata Mountains because it's like a whole, you know, resort type of vibe. There's a hotel, there are restaurants. Personally, I went for a shoot, so I just saw the, the mountains and the rocks and I was like, so, wow, you know. I'd say the best experience would probably be to hire a car and go for a road trip. Yeah, as you go to Alfujan, maybe. Alfujan is another state that also has... Did I say state? What do you call these things? It's like... Dubai is a city. First of all, you all be thinking Dubai is a country. Dubai is not a country. Dubai is a city. So there's Dubai, there's Abu Dhabi, and then Sharjah, and then I feel like I'm forgetting another one. And then there's Al Fujan. So if you go to Hata Mountains, you're going like you're going to Al Fujan, not like you're going to Abu Dhabi. But you get what I'm saying. Like you can also go to Al Fujan and do a couple of activities. But yeah, Hata Mountains. Mm, I feel like this video I'm giving too much tea. Oh, what are the seven states in the UAE? Actually, they are called states. Why was I doubting myself? Ah. Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Sharjah, Ajman. I've been to Abu Dhabi, I've been to Dubai, I've been to Sharjah. Have I been to Ajman? I feel like I haven't been to Ajman. Um, um Al Kuwain, Ras Al Khilma. Also, there's like some nice hotels in Ras Al Khilma, but I've never been there. Uh, Fujaira. Oh, girl, I meant Fujaira, not Al Fujan. Oh my god. Fujaira is the place, like, if you're going to Fujaira, you have to pass by Hata Mountains. Or personally, the way I went to Fujaira, I had to pass by Hata Mountains. So you can make it a road trip on your way to Fujaira. You just pass by the Hata Mountains. Like, come on now, girl. Don't tell me you came to Dubai and just went to Dubai Mall. It's not giving. It's... <laughs> The second place I wrote was, I just wrote to Beach Day. Dubai is a, like, it's very city vibes, the central part of Dubai. But you're gonna come here and you're gonna have a beach day. And let me tell you where you're gonna go. I mean, you can have a beach day by the hotel, like, if you're staying at a hotel, like, it's fine, but... Don't you wanna, you know, have a different experience? The place I like going when I'm going to the beach is this place called Kite Beach. It's a very local place. By local, I don't mean, like, locals go there, but yes, locals do go there. But I mean residents, like, like people who stay in Dubai, they love. Like I haven't met someone who stays in Dubai and they haven't gone to Kite 
bitch. Because people just love kind bitch. Because it's it's a very clean bitch. Like every bitch is clean. I'm not saying I'm not bitch. Um, but kind bitch is really nice. Like I don't know what it is. I think it's just the vibes. Like I don't want it to be crowded, but I'm not gonna get cute. <laughs> First of all, kind bitch is very. I don't know if it's the location. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just the way it's being put together. I don't know if it's, if it's the food. It's, it's just colorful. It's. It just feels like you're on a... It's a cute place to go for a date, by the way. There's so many restaurants to eat. There's so many activities to do. If you're a resident, like, if you want to play games, if you want to... There are places you can go that, you know, you have to pay, like, money to enter. It's a public beach, so, you know, there are no restrictions. You can just go there. The view is beautiful. They have the view of the Burj Al Arab. Um, what else do you have? The Burj Al Arab. And then you have the view of the water. They like, can, you know, think about it, having listen to like the vibes there. Don't go there on a don't go there on a holiday because it's like it's just too full. It's a public beach. It gets too too crowded. On a normal day, like a normal weekend, it's really nice. If you come here during summer, you can go there literally. Well, how do I even explain this? You can go there the whole night. That's what I'm saying. Like you can just go and chill there the whole night, and one is gonna tell you to leave. Like. Obviously, at some point, I think past six, you're swimming at your own risk. But they tell you, like, they make sure they've, you know, they've made the, they've made you aware. But um, yeah, you can swim there the whole night. You can chill by the baseline, especially if during summer, right? It's hot, yes, but like, it's hot, but like, there's a breeze. You know, it's, it's really nice. The fact that you can just go there and no one is like bothering you, and you can just chill. Like, if you're looking for a good place to go for a solo, I don't know, solo date or just. Go somewhere to the beach, read a book. Right now it's very hot, so I'd recommend you go in the evening, but like September, November, December, it's an amazing place to be. Other places that you can go to the beach, you can go to JBR. There's also a public beach. There's so many things to do. You're also like next to the Dubai Eyes, like the big Ferris wheel. That's also like another place where you can do a bunch of things. There's a cinema. There's like a bunch of hotels, a bunch of clubs, a bunch of restaurants, like a bunch of places to shop. There's a mall near there. What's a mall near there? Oh, there's Marina Mall. Yes, that's if you go to JBR Stroke Marina, which is like a different side. It's not like Kite. Kite is very chill. Kite is literally like you're going to the beach beach. You're going to like the traditional vibes of a beach. JBR Marina is very like, how do I explain it? It's just very extra. It's very extra. And sometimes it can be like, personally for me, sometimes I feel like it's just too crowded, you know? But like, if that's the vibe you're going for, don't go all the time! The good thing about Jadira, you can go there and spend a whole day there because like, there is so many things to do. And then you're next to the marina, a place you can walk, you can explore, there are also so many things to do at the marina. Marina at night is really nice, it's very beautiful. It's like your, um, you know those movies where it's like there's a city and then there's water passing through the city? That's the best way to explain marina, that's why I'm saying it's really nice to walk at night in the marina walk because it's just so, so beautiful. Very pretty. Okay, next place. Next place, the palm. Lovely area to explore and shop and eat. Alright, alright. The palm. The palm. Palm is one of those places you just visit because you want to feel like you're in Dubai. Like, I feel like the most Dubai place in Dubai other than the Burj Khalifa. Which is also another place that you should visit, like the Burj Khalifa is literally next to Dubai Mall. So you can literally go to Dubai Mall and go to the Burj Khalifa. You know when you're new, let me tell you, like me I know when I'm new in a place, like I literally go to Dubai Mall, go back to the hotel. I would be a single guy to completely do the place. Go, go back to the hotel, get a taxi and be taken to Burj Khalifa. I know such, such things happen, so I'm just telling you, if you go to Dubai Mall, just go to the Burj Khalifa and they have like a water show every one hour. I don't know from what time, I don't know if it's a whole day. Is it the whole day? I don't know if it's the whole day. I don't think it can be the whole day, but, but it could be the whole day. Considering Dubai and how extra it is, probably be the whole day, I don't know. Um, but they usually have a water show every one hour, like if you're there from 6, 7, 8, and you want to see the fountain and everything and you want to see. it's very beautiful if you go at night i'd highly recommend to go at night go in the morning if you want to take photos you know those you know dubai Burj khalifa photos go in the morning go at night it's too crowded every day every single day that mall is full but it's more full on valentine's day it's more full on holidays like christmas december january i was there was it second the year my cousin came i think it was last year I ended up there the day after the day after New Year. This is how you're gonna be working. Cause it's full. Like if you don't have that experience, you know, go go do your thing. But if you don't wanna be in a very crowded place, don't go to the Bible um New Year's. It's very like this that period it's very full. There is like 
Valentine's Day. I have nothing against Valentine's Day, guys, by the way. <laughs> um, during Eid holidays, during Muslim holidays, places like beach haves, like malls, most places are very crowded. So but there are also very many discounts during that time. So you could you could just you know decide to thug it out and go to the mall, go to the beach, and get your discount. So especially if you're buying electronic stuff. So the Bible one is next to Burj Khalifa. So just you know go there and just do them together on the same day also there is a, an aquarium a huge huge aquarium in dubai mall but there are like a billion things you can do in dubai mall a billion things but if you're like coming with your family and you have like siblings and you want to see something fun something interesting take them to the aquarium but let me just tell you make sure you go with food because that thing is it's a long walk like you want to walk for long and i know kids they get so like annoyed after you walked for too long like they don't tell you how far you're gonna walk you just enter and you're like bro i signed up for 15 minute cardio not one hour i feel like dubai mall Burj khalifa it's a very family oriented type of place if you wanna go with your super young siblings go there definitely go there you're gonna have a time and they're gonna just see so many things dubai mall is just designed to like be extra and blow your mind you're gonna be like wow it's very it's a very beautiful beautiful place I, I i'm not gonna lie you know give credit where it's due yeah the palm is also a very family friendly very family friendly very very like very family friend. I wouldn't say it's like a place you'd go on a solo date. Honestly, no. Go with family. Go with friends. Ooh, the water park at the palm. The water park at the palm. Go with your friends. Go with like. Go with a group of people. It's so fun if you go to the water park with a group of people. I went with my cousin, my two brothers. So we're like the four of us. I wouldn't have had as much fun if we were two people. Like, I mean, like you can still make your own fun. Like you can still, you know, do your own thing. But if you go as a group, it's the best experience when I I used to be above the water park. Now I'm like, nah, water park is not for me. Like I feel like the slides are a bit too much. If you go with a group of people, you don't even know where the carriage comes from. But you're gonna end up doing all those slides. Like some of them are mad. They're crazy. Like you get a wedgie, you turn, you see the sky, you see heaven, you come back down to earth. It's crazy, but if I went by myself to the water park, I would have been scared to go for some of the rides. But because I was with my cousin and my cousin is like an all experience, like I paid for the full experience for doing everything to book guy. We ended up doing everything and it was kinda like skydiving. That bad. I would highly recommend. I don't feel like it's a place where you should go shopping unless like it really does not give me shopping vibes. It gives me more like go for lunch, do the water park, walk around. I don't know, shop for an anklet, not not clothes, you know. You can also do the helicopter thing. I've never done that. I've seen Dubai from up and I'm like I'm coming. I didn't. I've never seen. Oh yeah, I also did a skydiving, so I've never seen the, the need to go for a helicopter. But it's a very romantic thing. Um, according to you know most people because i've been around that area and i see most people that go usually couples so you can do the helicopter thing if you're at the palm so the helicopter thing is at the palm so you can you know just do them together what else guys what else what else is at the palm oh okay if you don't want to like do that stuff you want to do something on a budget the palm has like a side where it's just like rocks and people just go there to chill oh yeah another thing you can do when you're at the palm, you can do the boat thingies, the boat rides, what do you call them? Like the fast boat ride. I feel like there's a specific word for it and it's not coming to, to mind. Like, when you do the... You know? You know what I'm talking about? Like, there's so many places you can do it, but I feel like it's just easier if you go to the palm and just do it on that side. But it's one of those activities at the palm as well. That's what I was talking about. Like, there's this place where you can just... It's literally, the palm is here, the road, and then there's like a bunch of rocks. I never knew that, but like, that's like a public place where you can just go and chill. And the view from there is insane because there's usually so many people doing the like the the motorboats thingies and it's like it's just really vast and the sunset and everything it's like you can just literally if you're a sunset person like me that's a place you can just go and chill and just it's really nice like the palm in general is just a beautiful beautiful place that's what i'm saying you can literally just go walk around and have a good day there's so many restaurants at the palm, like a gazillion and one restaurant. So it's more of a like, let's go for lunch. Let's go for lunch type of place, you know? Jetski Dubai. That's the word I was looking for this whole time. When you're at the palm, 
you should jet ski. The other place is to do it, but like, you know, the video I was talking about with the rocks and everything, you're gonna, you can sit there and then like, there's so many jet skis, so many um, yachts. That's also another thing you can do actually. If you've come here as a tourist, I feel like the easiest way is to just ask the hotel you're staying at or the place you're staying at, like the hotel, they will definitely have. They're probably like connected to a yacht company or like a yacht, you know, person who can organize for you if you want it to be like private, like you and you know, your person, you and you just, you know, just your family, or if you want to do a yacht with like a group of people, like you just want to go for dinner and you just want to join the crew. Ooh, the people you can do that i've seen also groups on ig for that honestly if you google um not google yeah you can google 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 i would trust google more than instagram because <gasps> oh instagram child because let me tell you google check the reviews always check the reviews sometimes instagram things are gonna look some type of way and then you get there you're like listen <laughs> give me back my day drops because this is not what i signed up for excuse me stop put me back on the land but with google you have more assurance because of the reviews because the reviews are going to tell you a lot always go to the reviews even when i was telling you like if you want a desert safari guide and you want to google them go to the reviews so you can go as a group you know um, join like the big ones and uh go for like you know a dinner they usually so many that usually have these parties where it's like you go around generally like around to be oh and then you see the sunset like just pay like a hundred dirhams like it depends like some of them you can pay like three thousand dirhams you know it depends also depends on the yacht like how fancy is a yacht that you're going for you know exclusive or like the service the food or like what's included like are you just gonna go and see because if you just wanna go and see maybe a few things you could pay like a hundred but if you're going to just have like wet you know champagne caviar you're not gonna pay a hundred dirhams for the black titanic that you're about to go into you're gonna pay maybe like more that's what i'm trying to say yeah there are very many options to that if you're a sunset person i'd highly recommend to do um especially the one that starts like around three four five and then you get to see the sunset and then you also get to see the city at night like dubai is so freaking beautiful at night i feel like i love dubai at night more especially during summer because it's so still hot. I don't even remember how it looks outside during the day. Do the sunset. Do the, like, I mean, you will not regret the sunset when you're on a yacht and you're looking at the water and then you're looking at the orange sunset. It's just so big. Like, if you're like, coming here and you want to do a couple stuff, that should be number one on your list. It's just so nice. Um, even to do like your birthday, family, even like for your siblings, baby siblings, like you have all the siblings. You know, I keep on saying baby siblings because I have younger siblings, so I always like imagine stuff that they would enjoy. Yeah, but also let me tell you, some people do get motion sickness, so just remember if you get motion sickness, just go buy the motion sickness pills and don't spoil the experience. You know, like if you can have a good experience, why not just have a good experience? You know. The yacht is definitely, um, I would highly, highly, highly recommend. It's such a nice experience, such a nice experience. Go for the one to food, eat, drink. Just go for the full experience. It's just more fun. And if you're joining the ones um, with people, personally, um, when it comes to Dubai, like, security is good. Like, security is always 10 over 10. So, like, if you're joining a yacht party and, you know, you don't know how the people are going to be, Personally, I'd say I've never felt unsafe here, which is so crazy. Like, I've actually never really felt like unsafe when I'm in like a public place, like let's say on a yard. Or, like, I've gone with people I know, you know, but I'm just saying, like, if you're going, let's say, by yourself, because you know, solo trips are a thing these days, you know, do that solo trip. If you're going for a solo trip and you're just like, oh, you know, am I gonna, am I gonna feel safe? I'm saying this because I'm a girl, because you know, us girls, we be going through the most sometimes, you know, but yeah, you're not gonna feel unsafe. It's not gonna be weird. So you know, go have your experiences. Have your experiences 100%. Mm -hmm. This is a hairband, by the way. And I'm probably wondering what is on my hand, but it's a hairband I got from Bashka. I've used the Sephora mascara, guys. The Sephora mascara, mm -hmm. 10 over 10. If you're looking for a good, affordable mascara, um, eyeliner. I meant eyeliner. Speaking of shopping, that should be on your itinerary. And if you're, let me just let you know, give it a whole day. Give, give, give well, it depends like on what you're planning to do and the experiences that you're trying to have. But if you're a girl like me, 
you had a whole day. But a whole day I mean, if you're not tourist, your day would probably start like at midday or at 10. So let's say for example, you go to Dubai Mall, you can spend the whole day there because you can do so many things. You can do lunch, you can do... Like when it comes to these places, especially malls, when it comes to malls, you just don't have to go there and shop. The activities are the malls. So you can give it a whole day. Go there, do your shopping at the end of the activities that you're gonna find at whatever mall that you you go to. Like for example, especially if you want to shop in Dubai Mall, I know most people who like to buy luxury goods. You are going to go to Dubai Mall because you can find every designer, luxury designer brand that you can think of. But also Mall of the Emirates is really good if you want to go to a less crowded place. But Mall of the Emirates is still crowded. It's still crowded, but it's not as crowded as Dubai Mall on a busy day. And um, when it comes to luxury brands, I would say Mall of Emirates is less crowded than Dubai Mall. Because everyone who's buying like Gucci Prada, Louis Vuitton, Dior, they will go to Dubai Mall. So if you want to go to a less crowded place, I'd say try Mall of the Emirates. Go to Dubai Hills Mall if you just want to do like, especially if you're my age and you want to get like nice clothes that are affordable. Go to Dubai Hills Mall. It's not as crowded. If you just want to go to the mall to a cafe, go to Dubai Hills Mall. It's not as crowded as Mall of the Emirates. But I'd say give yourself a day, especially if you're coming here as a tourist. Give yourself a full day so you can do like literally everything you can go to the Burj Khalifa for lunch you can go to the aquarium and then you can do your shopping it's it's a lot and walking that mall by the way there's an app to walk around the mall if you get lost but then there are always screens like I do and if you ask any security person then literally like this guy is for them to walk there clearly you have to realize you have to know exactly where everything is so they always know exactly where everything is so if you ever get lost just ask a security person but there's an app there's an app that tells you like from, from this shop to this shop it's gonna take you this number of minutes there's also an app for the metro if you're going there by metro modes of transport i'd say taxi metro bus limo hotel service rental rent a car over around dubai if you can drive if you have the driving license but if you don't you gotta use a taxi taxis are very expensive so if you don't want to spend so much on taxi because taxis <sighs> but you know there are different types of taxis they're like less expensive taxis and the more expensive taxis it depends on you it depends on the buyer you know go for the black taxi come on now <laughs> but if you're on a budget you don't know use the yellow taxi but if you're on a budget budget use the metro like the metro is clean especially if you're a woman there's usually a site for women and kids that's always very clean like it's not as crowded as the men's side the men's side ooh, the men's side is usually crowded but if you don't want to be on the regular people's side, you can get a gold gold card and you're gonna go to the VIP section of the metro which is you know very not crowded and it's always um it's always clean like the other side is, is clean as well but I feel like the AC on the VIP side is really a bit extra and the chairs are more comfortable yeah use the metro guys like use the bus you can use the same card that you use from for the metro for the bus the bus the bus is the bus is good the bus is good i just don't use the bus because like i just find metro so easy and so convenient there's an app for the metro if you don't know how to use the metro there's, a, there's literally an app for everything in this city <laughs> what else the malls if you want to have the dubai experience go to dubai mall if you want to have a less crowded dubai experience go to mall of the emirates mall of the emirates is a very local mall it's like literally like where most people will be live in i'd say an area called al basha go to it's just like the local mall it's like the local popular mall it's like the convenient mall you can get everything without going to the dubai mall once you stay here after a while like in the beginning i used to be in the i used to why am i calling it calling it the dubai mall i used to be at dubai mall as much as i could i was just excited to be there i was like oh it's so cool but at some point you're just like no 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 it just becomes like a big match so um mall of the emirates is literally the same as dubai mall but less dramatic and like just easier to access i mean both of them are easy to access but dubai mall once you get like you leave the metro you have to walk really like you have to really walk before you get to the mall one of the emirates is like a five five minute walk and then you're inside or maybe two minutes right? the emirates literally has everything not me with this line oh my god guys i'm so sorry oh my god but anyway <laughs> Guys, I've been using this Garnier Micellar Cleansing Watertight Oil. It's so good. It's like, it's really, really good. 
Back to the list, visit landmarks like Museum of the Future, Dubai Frame. So when it comes to landmarks, there are very many landmarks. Let's finish talking about the world. But I was like, wait, what was I saying about the world? I meant to say, go to Dubai Mall and then follow the Emirates. And then if you want to have a quiet experience, but you might not find all the shops there, go to Dubai Hills Mall, which is really my favorite mall. Because it's just very, it's more calm. On weekends, though, it's not as calm. On weekends, Mall of the Emirates is crazy. And Dubai Mall is even crazier. So I mean like go to all of them, have a full experience. Okay, so landmark, go to Museum of the Future. Museum of the Future is cool, it's literally like I don't know if they've changed. I don't know if it's like the things inside have changed because I went there a while ago. If you're into tech, you're like a tech bro. The last time I went was very tech, top tech information, very tech. But they're like different sections. Different sections talking about different things. Oh, if you like sustainability, how can we make the world a better place? Especially like through tech and just sustainability and all that stuff. Definitely go to the Museum of the Future. You're gonna enjoy it. You're gonna enjoy it. It's very educational. So you can just go and see it. It's a very beautiful like structure in itself. You can just go and see it. Like if you just wanna see it. It's, it's like, it's the most beautiful structure in Dubai, in my opinion. Another place you can go is Dubai Frame. I think it's the biggest frame in the world and also the Dubai Eye which is like the big ferris wheel like the one in London that's also another place you can go so Dubai Eye, Dubai Frame I, I went to Dubai Frame it's very simple you can actually take one hour there Museum of the Future maybe like 2-3 hours because it's, it's, it's a walk you gotta walk oh but the view at the end is worth it so if you go around sunset what well, it's considered is yo it's nice Fenty Beauty we're even hydrating long way. Run. Oh, another place you can go explore is the expo. I haven't been there ever since the expo happened, but like I was told that like, there's just so many things that usually happen that, I, that are interesting, especially if you're into tech, sustainability, such things, go to the expo. Well, as well. I don't know, I feel like I'm giving you guys, like, I've given you guys enough places. Like if you come for one trip and you go for all this like all these things that I'm saying, you will have Ooh, okay, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite places. Let's talk about Abu Dhabi. No, Abu Dhabi is one hour drive. By taxi, it can be around 300 to 500 dirhams. It depends on where you're going, but like if you're going to the Louvre, which is like a museum of art, like if you're into art, if you're into history, go to Abu Dhabi, go to the Louvre, go to Abu Dhabi and go to the Grand Mosque. I haven't gone to the Grand Mosque. That's on my to-do list. Like, it's just like, I've seen the pictures and if you like architecture, if you like art, go to Abu Dhabi and go to the Grand Mosque. Yeah, let me circle back to what I was saying. My mind is so jumpy. Oh my god, what was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah, I was gonna tell you about like my other favorite place, like other than Kite Beach. I went there one time and I had some prawns in this restaurant. It was like a local, like it felt like such an Arab local restaurant. And I had prawn. I had the best prawns I've ever eaten in my life. So that's why it became one of like my favorite places. But anyway, destination number, I don't know where. Go to the old town. The old town. So what are you gonna do at the old town? First thing you're gonna do at the old town, you're gonna buy Dubai perfume. You can get designer perfume at the mall, Dubai mall. Go, go get your designer perfume at the mall. Mall of Emirates, you know, designer perfume. Oh, but I want to say, when you're in Dubai, you can shop on Amazon. But as in Nairobi, like, we didn't have Amazon like that, that fast. And it would take long time to deliver stuff. So, like, if you have, a, like, a list of things you want to shop on Amazon, and you're in Dubai for, like, a week, delivery is really fast if you're using Prime. So just come and do, like, shop the things that you can't get. And, like, you know, go back home with them. I don't know if that makes sense, but I always wanted to say that. Online shopping. But then you don't even have to go to all these malls. You actually don't. Like, for shopping, you can do online shopping. And, but it always depends on the delivery and how long you're gonna be in Dubai. So anyway, back to the old town. Old town, you go and buy your Dubai perfume. Yeah, your Dubai perfume. Like, you go do the the hijab. You wanna buy hijab to go to the Grand Mosque. You wanna buy, like, you know, your Arab. Arab outfit. You go there and you buy your Dubai perfume. Go get your Arab your clothes. Go buy your jewelry. If you want to experience the traditional, cultural, cultural side of Dubai, that's what I'm telling you. Even the food they sell over there, like the restaurants that are there, you're gonna have that. You're gonna really feel like you're in an Arab, Arab town, Arab city, Arab money. So that's what the goal, like the old town is for. And when you're at the old town, like when you're in that side of Dubai, because Dubai is like very into the different places. When you're in that side of Dubai, you can go to the Gold Souk. This is where they sell like all the gold, all the jewelry, like 
Bella one chain that is not gonna rust and go swimming with. Buy a jewelry and a gold silk. Go to the old town and see how Dubai used to look back in the day. The architecture, if you're into like old architecture, if you're into art, if you're into history. Most people get tour guides to do this, but honestly, I feel like you can literally just go by taxi or just go by yourself and explore and just look around. Literally, like it's safe, guys. It's it's safe. You can do all this stuff by yourself. So go to the old town and just have a feel of the culture, like how it used to be back in the day. It's nice if you're into culture, you're gonna enjoy it. You can do the the like traditional dough, right? It's different from doing a yacht. It's like it's a very cultural experience. It's different from doing the you know the yacht shaking my ass on a yacht. It's different. Like you don't have to wear like you don't have to dress a specific way. I know that only place you have to dress modest. There's some malls you have to dress modest, like the super local malls and also the government places. The Grand Mosque, you have to dress modest. But like such a place, you just, you know, you can go in your Dubai outfit. Um, but you're gonna have a like, local experience and you can get really good fabric, like, you know, traditional fabric, like traditional clothes, cultural clothes. You know what I'm trying to say? Like stuff that used to be in Dubai way back when, like even art pieces, like you can just put in your house. If you're Kenyan, it's like going to Maasai Market. That's the best way for me to explain it. Yeah, my makeup is taking forever, but we're here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> my camera is giving about to die vibes because I've been talking forever, but I'm literally about to finish. But I wanted to tell you that at the old town, that side of Dubai is also where Daira is. You want to do your shopping, but like affordable shopping because Dubai Mall, the malls, if you have a good budget, if you're here on like a tight budget, go to Daira, you can literally get everything that you can get at dubai mall in Deira. and when i say everything i mean everything i say what i say <laughs> very crowded and can be hectic but once you get to Deira, there are always these guys especially african guys they always know where to go they literally know where everything is and they're so nice they're willing to help and like show you around so you can use them to move around because there is very big if you want to shop specific things you'll come to realize things are like categorized in like sections like if you want to buy farming stuff you want to buy oh if you want to buy fabric things for making clothes like a specific section if you want to buy tech stuff it's a specific section like content creator stuff it's a specific it's a specific section so if you don't know where to go just ask those guys they're literally gonna guide you you can walk around and just explore just don't walk around in the heat don't walk around in the heat like walk around at night but one thing about Dara, it will be crowded it's safe but it will be crowded girl it will, it will get the things done but if you're claustrophobic shh, it's not that bad it's, it's not that bad but I'm just telling you. Yeah, there is like where you go when you want to just get affordable stuff. Um, Old Souk is the old town. Go Souk. What else is on that side? Maybe I'm forgetting something, but I feel like that should, that should cover like two days or one day. Oh, if you want to go to Dera, I'd highly recommend to go by metro or by taxi. But metro, because Dera is far, like Dera is a bit far from everything. So it's cheaper to go by metro because the metro is going to take you like inside Dera. Asking. I didn't do a bad job. I love the highlight and this is because of that Anastasia Beverly Hills blush. I just want to look at the list one last time and see if there's anything I haven't mentioned. There's hot air balloon. I've never done hot air balloon personally ever. That's on my to-do list. But I know you can do hot air balloon in Dubai. I don't know where but I saw it on, on Instagram. Yaz Island. I forgot to add Ferrari World. Ferrari World is in Abu Dhabi. Um, so you can add that to your Abu Dhabi list once you drive down there or you just come straight to Abu Dhabi. Dubai Creek. Let me tell you my favorite thing about Dubai Creek Harbor. You know the way I've just been mentioning sunset, sunset this, sunset that. The best place, like out of all the places I've mentioned, the best sunset I have ever seen was the one in Dubai Creek Harbor. Dubai Creek Harbor feels like an island. It feels like an island in Dubai, but it's like it's like a mini city inside, like just inside Dubai, but it feels like it's outside Dubai a little bit because it's a bit far from everything. But it's just like a mini city inside Dubai that's being developed and it's really cool. There are also like very many boats. There's no mall at the moment, but there are many yachts. I've never been 
try yet in Dubai Creek but I saw them like when I went there because I just went to work actually I'm gonna link that video here for Dubai Creek cover so you just get what I'm talking about it's just a beautiful location this is more like if you're trying to live in Dubai and you can you know afford Dubai Creek cover is a very it's a very beautiful place honestly at galleries guys I feel like nobody else is gonna tell you this like Send me a video right now of someone recommending you to go to... Okay, if you're into art, there's so many art galleries in Dubai. And I discovered art galleries when I was trying to find like places to go and work. And then I discovered this place called Al Sakan Avenue. There are many other places where there are art galleries. But there's this specific place called Al Sakan Avenue where it's like... It's just a huge place with like many containers. And every container has like a cafe and art gallery but my favorites are usually the art gallery there's like a specific cafe i really love that i used to go and see it and work but the art galleries they always have different things like every time i've gone to Al-Sakal i haven't been there in a while actually but every time i used to go there like if you love art and just appreciate art there are many art galleries around like just come to dubai google art galleries and you're gonna find but like in general Al-Sakal avenue is a place i'd highly recommend for you to start with they always have events once in a while especially when it's not sunny because it's a very outdoor type of place but the art galleries are in containers so that Dubai Design District as well it has some art galleries but mostly it's a working space for people who are like you know creatives, designers, stylists, architects I feel like if you want to just like coincidentally literally if you just want to meet creative people Dubai Design District is the place I'd recommend but art galleries, Al Sakal Avenue, the other places like they're not coming to mind but yeah there are many art galleries in Dubai and they actually have really good art there's this place I used to go to in downtown it's called you know what I'm just gonna put it on the screen it's so nice it's just literally on downtown like when you're walking in downtown actually there's several several art galleries when you're walking in downtown but that specific one always has the best art displays like I hope I can afford to buy like art in the future because I think it's so cool um and then there's this other place it's not coming to mind but I'm just gonna put it here but the one place I like you're gonna go and one is gonna bother you like you can literally go from container to container to container to container just looking at like different people get inspired if you're looking for inspiration sit at a cafe it's a cute date spot whatever yeah Alsaka Avenue <laughs> love it Global Village oh yeah I didn't mention Global Village but that's because it's closed right now during summer it closes I think it's gonna open maybe like September November December January but Global Village is literally like a global village it's like a bunch of castles or a bunch of like areas that represent different countries like there's one for US there's one for China mainly like the big countries because Africa for example we're just like one like like you can go to the Africa castle you can go to the China, you can go to the US, and then there's like the one for UAE, that one is also big. That one, if you want to see culture, if you want to buy like, oh, there's, I remember that was Taki because they had like so many rugs. If you want to buy like authentic, there are many Arab countries in Global Village. So if you want to buy like traditional things, yeah, if you want to buy traditional things, like African traditional things, go to Global Village and go to the Africa side, you're going to find traditional things, Arab things, Turkish things, Chinese things, like Chinese things, oh, another place you can go to for shopping and you want to buy like Chinese things that are not like too expensive, but like some of them are usually really good quality, is Dragon Mart. Dragon Mart literally has everything you could think of. Like just think of Temu in real life. If you're looking for odd stuff that you can't really find anywhere and you know you can get them online and they come from China, go to Dragon Mart. You can buy stuff online but like seeing them like in real life is just it's it's just way better. So Dragon Mart is another place I'd recommend if you're just looking to go and shop or see places in Dubai. Then I wrote Blue Waters Island. Blue Waters Island is a place I was telling you with the island, like with a big ferris wheel. There's so many things around there. There's like, I think there's, I don't know if there's a cinema. Ooh, if you want to go and watch a movie, the one place I'd highly recommend is Dubai Hills Mall. Apparently, the cinema place in Dubai Hills Mall is the biggest in the Middle East or something like that. But that place, oh, chef's kiss. Honestly, it's just a good cinema. You know, like you know when you're in a good cinema, like you just know, like the vibe, the AC, the seat, the screen is gigantic. So if you're trying to watch a movie, like there are people who are just into movies. Like for me personally, I'm such a movie person. Like I still believe in the art of going to movies. 
So Dubai Hills Mall, like there's so many other malls like Mall of Emirates, Dubai Mall, there's a movie place But I feel like Dubai Hills Mall is very chill, it's very quiet and the theatre is insane The sound is insane, the AC is crazy cold but like it just It just gives, you know, it just really gives <laughs> Anyway I need to go and watch Deadpool. I need to go watch Deadpool. And then I wrote a bunch of stuff. All these are areas located in a place where you can do more than one activity, like the desert safari. Like most tour guides will give you a package that includes camera rides, dune bashing, etc. etc. from like 2 pm to 10 pm. If you go to the mall, there are many things to do. Okay, basically I was just saying you can just do so many things in one area. If you're not shopping, like there's so many things that you can do on a budget like i feel like when you're coming to dubai if you have accommodation you can get around you can you you just figure it out so yeah because i feel like yeah sometimes there's an assumption where Dubai is like extreme on the high end there are like so many sites to dubai there's so many sites to dubai and there's so many ways you can get by and there's so many things that you can get there's an affordable side and there's expensive side so it's for you to search but if you search you will find you'll find Guys, I'm out of breath. Can we just like put this hair down and just see how it looks for the plot? Like, no, I'm just curious. Let's just end the video on a high note. I love this braid so much. I love this color so much. So, so much. Do I look like a completely different person? Like, if you're in Dubai and you're trying to figure out where to get your braids done, like, if you have not figured out the salonist on Instagram who are like quite expensive, just go to Dara. Like, sometimes I go to Dara. Sometimes, um, you know, a couple of places where I can get my hair done. Like, I know a couple of salons. Um, but if you're just like trying to do a quick, quick, just go to Dara. Get your braids done and the people who do braids in there are like really know how to do braids the woman who does my braids in there she's from sierra leone she speaks french and she braids like these ones are not from there but they were really well done yeah that's an option um, i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i've been wanting to make this video for a while i hope it was informative and you got some good insight if you're here for the makeup yeah, if you're here for the makeup too, that's okay. If you have any questions, drop it in the comment section below. And subscribe. <laughs> if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Every time you get into a taxi, you get into the taxi. And then, you know, you want to say, okay, let's go. Instead of saying, okay, let's go, just say, yalla. Just say, yalla. Just say, yalla. Yalla. I feel like I, I, I don't have, I'm not saying it in the right accent, but like, trust me. Yala, 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 to say yala in there. You might get 50% off. You get it? If you don't get it, forget about it.